Are you right now outside watching this video? Don't forget wearing your face mask. That is a very serious matter. As a face mask becomes an indispensable personal necessity. However, have you ever reckoned the life cycle of a face mask? Don't worry, we will find the journey of the most used three-layer surgical mask. Before we start, preliminary introduction of life cycle is important for us to proceed with this video. Human's life cycle could be very straightforward, from cradle to grave. While when we apply life cycle to environmental area, that means a lot. Firstly, integrated thinking about the sequence of life stages that a product undergoes from raw material to the end with disposal or reproduction. Then, all the energy and the resource use and the emission as well will be listed out and calculated accurately. Finally, holistic life cycle thinking can help us attain sustainable goal for preserving our environment. Back to our topic. So, what are these materials made from? A simple anatomy shows the structure, non-woven fabric, medium filter, and the innermost composite fiber. As for the first two layers, the unwoven fiber and the meltdown filter, they come from the same source polypropylene, which are one type of plastic materials extracted from crude oil. Skin-friendly fiber, on the other hand, are made from cotton textile. Don't leave another little gadget alone. Metal bar used on nose clip derives from the iron ore, while the rubber strap, as it says, come from the rubber. Then, how actually face mask is made from these materials? Firstly, PP is melted on the high temperature and solidified into nanometers level fabric. Then, the cotton is proceeded and transformed into a row of coils. When the main procedures have finished, nose clip and the rubber strap are added into it before final compression of three layers of materials. Finally, after sterilization on the radioactivity, mature product comes to package waiting for distribution. During manufacture, main emission is of GHG emission caused by electricity use. Distribution phase could be very simple directly from manufacturer to retailer. The whole process could be divided into a few stages. After packaging, cargo will be shipped to the corresponding retailers with the order of masks. GHG emission will be generated by the fuel used on transportation. When the shop gets ready, customers come by and pick up face masks by themselves or by logistics. Right now, you may have obtained your own face mask, yet it was not in the right way of wearing face mask given the current ongoing coronavirus outbreak around the world. In summary, we have seen three different ways of wearing face mask in general, magically, wildly, and probably. If you are not going to do a magic show or wild game, please choose to wear it properly for your own health consideration. Finally, where will the face mask be going after usage? That's a very good question. It could end up with three different ways as usual. The standard disposal, the archery disposal, and the conditionally recycling. The standard disposal applies for incineration, which is the most realistic way to get rid of mountaining waste of face mask. However, we need to take into consideration the air pollution and bottom ash caused by this process. 
Next, the upstream disposal is leading to solid waste pollution in the right, left, and center. We should avoid any upstream disposal as possible as we can. Finally, the conditionally recycling not only stay away from the pollution of farmers, but also reduce the resource use by making use of advanced technology. This is the end of this video. I really wish you could learn something useful for yourself. Thanks for watching.